Hello everybody, Skylander Zeon here, and welcome to a new episode of Skylander Skins. Today is the Easter episode. So, I will say ahead of time, this is the only episode that I can think of that only has four skins in it. I usually try to go for at least five, but I need to say, making Easter customs is tough. Like... I did not realize how hard it was to make Easter ones specifically, because there are multiple routes you can go with. There is the whited out route with pastel colors added on. That's what they did for Hobbity Pop Fizz in Lost Islands. And then there's the basically just use every pastel color you have, and that's what they did for Springtime Trigger Happy. But it is hard to find a good middle ground. But, yeah. So, there's only four customs this episode. There were planned to be more. I did experiment with two others, but ultimately they did just- they just did not turn out. So, I've talked long enough. This is gonna be a short video, I know. But let's get started with Springtime Double Trouble. So, yeah, we've got regular Double Trouble here, but let's just show him off, I guess. So, you can see that I did go for a purple, teal, and yellow color scheme with blue eyes. And now you might be thinking, this is too similar to Royal Double Trouble? Well, no, not really. Let's do a side-by-side. So now let's zoom in on that, and you can see they are completely different colors. Like sure, I did go for the purple vibe, but overall, just, I'd say they are definitely different enough. And if you disagree, that's fine. But yeah, I'd say that this definitely has differences from Royal. You can see <laughs> different shade of purple on the mask, Got still kept the white feathers, Got the green on the mask instead of the gold. The blue eyes, yes, I admit, that is the same. But then you've also got the yellow arms. So overall, this is different enough in my opinion, if you disagree. Okay. But yeah, that's springtime double trouble for ya. And let's take both of these off. So, next we've got an air character. We've got... Power Punch Jetvac. How is this an Easter variant? I have no idea. But Power Punch Petvac was sold in Easter packaging, so that's enough for me to make this. We've got a red and gold color scheme, nothing Easter-like about it, but if Activision considers it an Easter variant, so will I. So yeah, overall, I am pretty satisfied with this one. It's an easy color scheme to do, just the red and the gold. As you can see, I put this over Legendary Jet Vac. And I'm just happy with how it turned out, honestly. Because Power Punch Pet Vac is honestly an underrated variant. But then again, he's from Trap Team that had a lot of variants, so it makes sense why he's kind of forgotten. But nonetheless, I'm glad to have Power Punch Jet Vac here. Let's show off his stat screen. And there you go. So, next up, we've got a Earth character, or an Earth character, rather. My bad. But there is going to be something really weird about him. Let me just warn you guys with that. I had a very specific idea in mind, and, well, I tried to execute it the best I could. So here is Egg Bash. So I already know what you're thinking. There are too many colors on him. But, like I said, I had a very specific idea with him. So if you've played Lost Islands, you might remember the variant Rocky Egg Roll. If not, I'll put him on screen right now for your viewing pleasure. Well, there you go. So... As you can see, I did definitely take inspiration from Roll. And I used the yellow, I used the teal, and I used the pink. But Bash is a character that, who would have guessed it, 
he can roll. So, I did actually have a very specific thing in mind here, and if I can show this off real quick, let me do this, and there you go. Paused it. So, while he is in his rolling animation, I tried to just make it look as similar to Rocky Egg Roll as possible. And while I don't know how much better I could have necessarily done this, I am still happy with how it turned out overall. Like, there's not much that can be done with a character like Bash, so I tried to maximize his potential. And there you go, another shot of how frozen he kind of looks like a painted easter egg. Like I said, that is honestly difficult to manage, so I did the best I could. There you go, a look at a stats screen. And let's go on to our fourth and final character. I know this is a short episode, but like I said, this... It's hard to make the Easter variants, it's just hard to get the colors right. But we've got an egg pun, we've got Egg Stream Shroom Boom. So with this one, I went the route that I was talking about earlier, basically whiting him out and then adding pastel colors over it. So I added a purplish color, like a purplish hue at the top of him even, and I added blue onto the spikes just to add a little bit of extra flair to him. Then, yeah. Overall, this one, I don't know. Like I said, it's hard to make Easter characters specifically, so I did the best I could with what I have. But, yeah, um, like I said, this is gonna be a very short episode, because what can I really do? I can't drag out a video with four characters in it. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment for more videos. The next skins video will be longer than this, I can assure that. And I do not remember the theme I'd plan for it, but stay tuned anyways. I can assure you more is coming in the future. Thanks for watching, and peace out.